Welcome back to Match Fishing TV UK. Um, I've been struggling to find time to fit fishing in recently with various things that are going on, but I did get an opportunity to grab a couple of hours at my local lake recently. And it was one of those where I didn't have any bait lined up, ready to go. So I grabbed a bag of sweet corn from the freezer, added to that a healthy squirt of molasses, because the bream love molasses, the sweetness. I added a bit of hot water to a freezer bag, chucked the lot in, gave it a good shake around, went to the bank with the world's most uncomfortable small stool, an eight foot feeder rod, uh, and a very, very simple straight bomb set up. In terms of hook, it was a uh, size 12 hook with a bait band, and I was fishing a wafter a yellow wafter generally just to try and mimic the corn because it was a bit easier to obviously hook. So the challenge was two hours, catch as many bream as I could and there was always the chance of course of a bonus carp. So the plan of attack for the session was a short line in the margins to my right and about 12 meters out under an overhanging branch uh, to my left and I baited quite heavily. About 15 minutes in, I struck into my first fish, which was a bream, and not a bad bream to start off with, probably two and a half pounds. A good indication of the stamp of fish in this particular venue. Little cracker. So getting a fish from the left hand peg meant that I had a change to the margin peg and I didn't have to wait too long now. Fish were coming pretty thick and fast and a little flick into the right and a couple of minutes later another fish followed. This time, much smaller bream, but it was really encouraging because the bream had clearly come over the top of the sweet corn, loving the sweetness of the molasses, and was getting lots of knocks, lots of indications between definitive bites. So it was turning into a really exciting short session. So following the same pattern, one fish from the right, go to the left swim, fish from the left, go back to the right, was allowing a nice bit of rest between fish for each swim if any disturbance had been made. It meant that I kept catching on a regular basis. Alternating the swims continued to produce a fish a chuck. It was a great little session and just goes to show that if you've got a couple of hours and you've got a bit of bait, you know, there's always fish to be caught. But great fun. This fish again, not the biggest in the world, probably two pounds, maybe, um, maybe even slightly less than that, but a beautiful bream again, not a mark on it. I continue to put regular small handfuls of sweet corn across each swim, just to keep them going. Nothing big, you know, half, half a palm full put in sort of three or four handfuls at the very beginning um, but just to keep the fish down there interested. The action continued to be thick and fast, such good fun and bearing in mind it was only a couple of hours of fishing, uh, so so many fish caught and it was uh, like going back to the school days. I did take a bank stick with me, I did try and set it up but in the end ended up resting the rod on the floor and watching the tip in that way. So really, really old school, but fantastic fun. And the pleasing thing was the stamp of bream were getting slightly larger. So for my last cast of the day, I'd seen some carp up near the surface, a little bit further out, and I decided to cast over them and gently wind in to sink my line to create a sort of slow sinker effect. Um, some of the venues I fish, the slow sinker is absolutely deadly. 
and I struck gold and it was an epic end to the session to uh, hook into a carp. It wasn't the biggest carp in the world, but it was just a nice finish to what had been a fantastic little session. Okay, so that's me done. So uh, lovely little couple of hours. Um, really gutted actually that I haven't got more time because I definitely, definitely would have liked to have stayed a bit longer. The fish are on, uh, it's good action and it's a really simple technique that I'm using and it's, it's just brilliant. Uh, sometimes, you know, I love, I love my match fishing to get out here and just, you know, flick a line out and use some really sort of basic techniques to catch some fish. But look, if you've liked what you've seen, please don't forget, drop a like and uh, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.